Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another short tutorial on working with TradingView. In this video, I'll walk through how to create a multi-tab setup where each tab has a different time frame, yet the stock symbol is synchronized across all of the tabs. Let's dive right into it. I currently have a clean window here. There's one tab in the upper left. We're going to add a layout to that tab and we'll set this to be the weekly time frame. We'll do that right here. We'll choose weekly. We'll create a new layout. This time we'll set the time frame to daily and let's create one more for an intraday chart. And we'll go ahead and select hourly. So starting over here on the left, we have a weekly tab, we have a daily tab, and we have an hourly tab. Now when you change the symbol in any one of these tabs, it won't affect the other tabs. For example, if I change to the symbol Uber, you'll see that the daily and the weekly did not change. It's very simple to synchronize these tabs. All we need to do is right click and choose one of these colors and do the same for the other two tabs. And once we have all of these with the same color, when we change to a different symbol, you'll notice that each one of the time frames is now aligned to that same symbol. The last thing I recommend is you give a name to each one of these tabs. So we're currently looking at the weekly chart. So we'll go over to this option right here and we'll call this our weekly tab. We'll go to this one here. We'll call this our daily tab. And finally, this option right here, we'll call our hourly tab. The benefit of giving each one of the tabs a name is you can now select the plus key, choose all layouts, and select any one of the layouts that you've created previously. The last tip I want to share with you is how to change the information that appears inside of the tabs. If you click up here on the application name, go into settings, choose the tab option, and you'll see there's six different things that we can display. I currently have three of those shown, the ticker, the price change icon, and the layout name. So here's the ticker. Here's the price change. It'll be green if the price is up. It'll be red if the price is down. And here's the name of the tab. You can change that however you like. For example, maybe you don't care for the icon and you'd like to have the percent change. It's as simple as that. So there's the ticker, there's the tab name, and there is the price change percent. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful and we'll see you in the next video.